Listening test. In this section, you'll demonstrate your ability to understand spoken English. This is a shortened version of the TOEIC listening test with half the usual number of questions. You don't need to write anything down. Answers are provided immediately after each question. There are four parts and directions will be given for each. Let's begin. Let's kick off with part one, listening photographs. Get ready to analyze some images and pick the best response. Number one. A. A man is swimming in the ocean. B. Two people are sitting in a park. C. A group of children is playing in a field. D. A man and woman are working in an office. The correct answer is D. A man and woman are working in an office. Number 2. A. A businesswoman is presenting at a meeting. B. A man is serving coffee to a customer. C. A woman is working on a laptop in a conference room. D. A group of people is attending a conference. The correct answer is C. A woman is working on a laptop in a conference room. Number 3. A. The collaborator is giving a presentation. B. The person is reading a document. C. The collaborator is taking notes. D. The presenter is typing on a laptop. The correct answer is D. The presenter is typing on a laptop. Number 4. A. People are waiting in a train station. B. Several workers are repairing a road. C. A group of friends is having a picnic. D. Two people are walking through a market. The correct answer is A. People are waiting in a train station. Number 5. A. A family is shopping for groceries. B. A woman is walking her dog in the park. C. People are boarding a bus at the bus stop. D. A group of students is attending a lecture. The correct answer is D. A group of students is attending a lecture. Number 6. A. Construction workers are inspecting a building. B. A woman is checking her phone at a construction site. C. People are attending a business conference. D. An engineer is presenting a project in an office. The correct answer is B. A woman is checking her phone at a construction site. Now, let's move on to part two. Listening, question response. Time to sharpen your listening skills and pick the correct replies. Number one. Would you like some help with those boxes? A. The boxes are in the back. B. Yes, that would be great. C. I think they're too heavy. The correct answer is B. Yes, that would be great. Number 2. Why did you choose this vendor? A. I didn't have a choice. B. The presentation was impressive. C. They offered the best price. The correct answer is C. They offered the best price. Number 3. Could you turn the music down? A. It's very loud. B. I like this song. C. Sure, no problem. The correct answer is C. Sure, no problem. Number 4. Have you seen the latest sales report? A. It's on my desk. B. No, I haven't had a chance yet. C. I'll bring it tomorrow. The correct answer is B. No, I haven't had a chance yet. Number 5. How often does the bus run? A. I work from home. B. Every 30 minutes. C. I came by car. The correct answer is B. Every 30 minutes. Number 6. Have you seen the new marketing report? A. Yes, he's in the meeting room. 
B. Yes, I'll call him now. C. No, I haven't had a chance yet. The correct answer is C. No, I haven't had a chance yet. Number 7. Did you finish the report from Mr. Thompson? A. No, I didn't go skiing. B. I will complete it by tomorrow. C. The presentation is at 3 p.m. The correct answer is B. I will complete it by tomorrow. Number 8. Can you complete the project by Monday? A. I'll do my best. B. Monday is a holiday. C. It's too difficult. The correct answer is A. I'll do my best. Number 9. How can I access the online database? A. You'll need a login ID. B. Yes, it's been updated. C. I'm afraid not. The correct answer is A. You'll need a login ID. Number 10. Is the boss going to be at tomorrow's meeting? A. He has another appointment. B. It's at 10 a.m. C. I will be there. The correct answer is A. He has another appointment. Number 11. Who is going to lead the project? A. We need more resources. B. Karen will lead the project. C. The project is in its early stages. The correct answer is B. Karen will lead the project. Number 12. Where should I submit the expense report? A. It's on the table. B. To the finance department. C. I'll submit it now. The correct answer is B. To the finance department. Great job so far. Next is part three. Listening, conversations. Listen carefully to short dialogues and answer the questions that follow. Number one, have you completed the quarterly review? I'm almost done. I just need to finalize the numbers. When will you finish it? I'll have it ready by tomorrow morning. When will the man finish the quarterly review? A. By tomorrow morning. B. By the end of the day. C. By tonight. The correct answer is A. By tomorrow morning. Number 2. Do we need to reserve a car for the client visit? Yes, let's get a car service. I'll make the reservation right now. Perfect. I appreciate it. What is the woman going to do? A. Reserve a car. B. Cancel a meeting. C. Visit a client. The correct answer is A. Reserve a car. Number 3. Can we finalize the travel itinerary for the sales trip? Sure. Have you booked the hotels yet? Not yet. I was waiting for your confirmation on the locations. Let's go with the hotels we used last time. They were quite good. What do they need to finalize? A. The itinerary. B. Transportation. C. Hotel bookings. The correct answer is A. The itinerary. Number 4. Can we reschedule our one on one meeting to Thursday? I have back to back meetings that day. How about Friday morning instead? Friday morning works for me. Let's do 9 a.m.? 9 a.m. is perfect. I'll send a revised calendar invite. When will the rescheduled meeting take place? A. Friday morning. B. Thursday afternoon. C. Monday morning. The correct answer is A. Friday morning. Number 5. Hello. I need to book a flight to New York for a business trip next week. Certainly. When would you like to depart? I need to be there by Tuesday afternoon. In that case, I recommend the 9 a.m. flight on Tuesday. When does the woman need to be in New York? A. Wednesday evening. B. Tuesday afternoon. 
C. Monday morning. The correct answer is B. Tuesday afternoon. Number 6. Are we still meeting with the marketing team this afternoon? Actually, the meeting has been moved to tomorrow morning. Thanks for the update. I'll adjust my schedule accordingly. No problem. When will the meeting with the marketing team take place? A. This afternoon. B. Tomorrow afternoon. C. Tomorrow morning. The correct answer is C. Tomorrow morning. Number 7. Can we discuss the client feedback now? I'm heading out for lunch. Can it wait until later this afternoon? Yes, but we need to prepare our responses by the end of today. Let's set a time for 2 p.m. then. When will they discuss the client feedback? A. At 2 p.m. B. Over lunch. C. Later this afternoon. The correct answer is A. At 2 p.m. Number 8. Can you help me with the client's contract later? Sure, I have some time after lunch. Let's meet in my office around 2 p.m. All right, see you then. When will they meet to work on the client's contract? A. At 3 p.m. B. At 2 p.m. C. At 1 p.m. The correct answer is B. At 2 p.m. Number 9. We should update the software on all the company laptops. Agreed. I'll start with accounting since they use it the most. Good idea. Let me know if you need any help. Who's using the software the most? A. Marketing. B. Sales. C. Accounting. The correct answer is C. Accounting. Number 10. Are you going to the team lunch today? Yes, but I will join a bit late. No problem. We're meeting at the Italian restaurant at noon. Great. I'll be there by 12.30. What time is the team lunch? A. At noon. B. At 12.30. C. At 11.30. The correct answer is... A. At noon. Number 11. Can you send me the updated project timeline? I'm finalizing it now. I'll email it to you within the hour. Perfect. I need it for an update meeting this afternoon. I'll make sure you get it on time. When will the man receive the updated project timeline? A. Next week. B. Within the hour. C. By tomorrow morning. The correct answer is... B. Within the hour. Number 12. Have you filed the expense report yet? Not yet. I'm planning to do it this afternoon. Okay. Just remember to include the receipts. I will. Thanks for the reminder. When will the man file the expense report? A. Tomorrow. B. This afternoon. C. This morning. The correct answer is... B. This afternoon. Let's dive into part four. Listening talks. You'll hear brief talks or speeches, so stay focused for the questions. Number one. Welcome to Tech World 2023, the leading technology conference. Today's keynote will begin at 10 a.m. in the main hall, featuring innovations in AI and machine learning. Don't forget to visit the exhibition area for demos and meetups with industry experts. We hope you enjoy the conference. When does the keynote begin? A. 11 a.m. B. 9 a.m. C. 10 a.m. The correct answer is B. 10 a.m. Number 2. We are excited to announce the launch of our new product line next week. Join us for the unveiling event on Monday at 10 a.m. There will be a live demonstration and an opportunity to meet the designers. Don't miss it. When is the unveiling event? A. Monday at 10 a.m. B. Friday at 9 a.m. C. Tuesday at 11 a.m.
The correct answer is B. Monday at 10 a.m. Number 3. Hello, this is an announcement from the City Library. We have extended our weekend hours to better serve you. We are now open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. Please take advantage of our new hours to enjoy our resources. What change has the City Library made recently? A. Changed the membership fee. B. Extended weekend hours. C. Added more books. The correct answer is A. Extended weekend hours. Number 4. Attention all passengers. The train to New York will be delayed by 30 minutes due to track maintenance. We apologize for the inconvenience and appreciate your patience. Please listen for further announcements for updated schedules. Why is the train to New York delayed? A. Weather conditions. B. Technical issues. C. Track maintenance. The correct answer is B. Track maintenance. Number 5. Thank you for choosing Healthy Bites Cafe. We specialize in organic and gluten-free meals. Our menu changes seasonally to ensure fresh ingredients for our customers. Remember to check out our new spring dishes and download our app for exclusive discounts. What is the specialty of Healthy Bites Cafe? A. Organic and gluten-free meals. B. Seafood. C. Fast food. The correct answer is A. Organic and gluten-free meals. Number 6. Welcome to the History Museum. Today, explore our new exhibit on ancient civilizations. Guided tours are available at the top of every hour. Flew up of every hour. Make sure to visit the gift shop for unique souvenirs before you leave. When are the guided tours available? A. At the top of every hour. B. Every half hour. C. Only in the morning. The correct answer is A. At the top of every hour. Number 7. Thank you for joining our company's annual general meeting. Today, we will review our financial performance over the past year. We will also discuss our strategies for growth in the upcoming year. Please hold all questions until the end of the presentation. What is one of the topics that will be discussed? A. New office locations. B. Employee benefits. C. Financial performance. The correct answer is A. Financial performance. Number 8. Our community center is hosting a blood donation drive next Friday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. All eligible donors are encouraged to participate. Remember to bring a photo ID and eat a healthy meal before donating. What should donors bring with them? A. Their medical records. B. A friend. C. A photo ID. The correct answer is C. A photo ID. Number 9. Thank you for attending our annual Technology Expo. This year, we are showcasing innovations in artificial intelligence and virtual reality. Make sure to visit our demo booths to experience the latest gadgets. Don't miss the keynote speech at 4 p.m. in the main hall. What time is the keynote speech scheduled? A. 3 p.m. B. 5 p.m. C. 4 p.m. The correct answer is C. 4 p.m. Number 10. Join us for the Healthy Living Seminar on Saturday at the Community Center. Our speakers will cover topics like balanced diet, regular exercise, and mental wellness. Enjoy free health screenings and nutritional advice. Register online to secure your spot. When is the Healthy Living Seminar? A. Covering topics like diet and exercise. B. At the community center. C. On Saturday. The correct answer is A. On Saturday. Number 11. Our fall clothing sale starts this Friday at Trendy Apparel. 
Enjoy up to 50% off on select items, including sweaters, coats, and accessories. This is a great opportunity to update your wardrobe with stylish and affordable pieces. Visit us at your local store or shop online to take advantage of these incredible savings. When does the fall clothing sale begin? A. Next Monday. B. This Friday. C. This Sunday. The correct answer is B. This Friday. Number 12. This is a message from the city's water department. Due to maintenance work, water supply will be temporarily shut off in the downtown area from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. tomorrow. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. When will the water supply be shut off? A. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. tomorrow. B. 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. tomorrow. C. 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. today. The correct answer is C. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. tomorrow. Reading test. In this section, you'll demonstrate your ability to understand written English. This is a shortened version of the TOEIC reading test with half the usual number of questions. No need to rush, just follow along, and answers will be provided after each question. There are three parts, and directions will be given for each. Let's begin! Time for the reading section. Let's start with part five. Incomplete sentences. Fill in the blanks with the correct words. Number one, if they more time, they would finish the project sooner. A, would have, B, have, C, had, D, will have. The correct answer is C, had. Number two, she, the document when I asked her for help. A. Was submitting. B. Had already submitted. C. Will submit. D. Has submitted. The correct answer is B. Had already submitted. Number three. The package has arrived. A. Yet. B. Already. C. Any more. D. Still. The correct answer is B. Already. Number four. The presentation. By the time the manager arrives. A. Will have been finished. B. Will have finished. C. Has finished. D. Had finished. The correct answer is A. Will have been finished. Number five. The manager. The team members to attend the meeting. A. Was telling. B. Is told. C. Has told. D. Tells. The correct answer is. D. Tells. Number six. He apologized. The inconvenience caused. A. About. B. For. C. To. D. With. The correct answer is B. 4. Number 7. If I enough time, I would finish the report today. A. Has. B. Would have. C. Have. D. Had. The correct answer is D. Had. Number 8. He was tired. He decided to take a break. A, but, B, so, C, and, D, because. The correct answer is, B, so. Number nine, they, here for over five years now. A, were working, B, had worked, C, have worked, D, worked. The correct answer is C. Have worked. Number 10. The manager insisted. Holding the meeting on time. A. 4. B. In. C. 2. D. On.
The correct answer is D. On. Number 11. His busy schedule, he found time to attend the meeting. A. Although. B. Despite. C. In spite of. D. Because of. The correct answer is B. Despite. Number 12. We will finish the work. Friday. A. At. B. Until. C. On. D. By. The correct answer is D. By. Next up is Part 6. Reading. Text completion. Complete each text by choosing the best answer for the single gap. Number 1. Dear Ms. Davis, We have received your loan application and it is currently being We will get back to you with the results within 7 business days. Regards, Loan Department A. Process B. Processing C. Processed D. Processes The correct answer is C. Processed. Number 2. Dear team, we have successfully the project ahead of schedule. Congratulations, and let's keep this momentum going. Best project manager. A. Complete. B. Completed. C. Completion. D. Completes. The correct answer is B. Completed. Number 3. Our office will be closed next Monday for maintenance. We apologize for any... <clears throat> Thank you for your understanding. A. Inconveniences. B. Inconvincing. C. Inconvenient. D. Inconvenience. The correct answer is D. Inconvenience. Number 4. The new guidelines are now auxing in all regions. Please review them at your earliest convenience. A. Effect. B. Effective. C. Affecting. D. Effectivity. The correct answer is B. Effective. Number 5. To our valued customers, your feedback is highly to us as we strive to improve our services. Please take a moment to complete our survey. Thank you, customer relations. A. Value. B. Valuable. C. Values. D. Valued. The correct answer is B. Valuable. Number six, to ensure compliance with company policies, all employees are required to complete the training module. At, at the A. Annually. B. Annually. C. Annual. D. Yearly. The correct answer is B. Annually. And finally, Part 7. Reading. Reading Comprehension. Get ready to read passages and answer questions based on them. Let's finish strong. Number 1. Attention all employees. We are pleased to announce that the office will be closed next Monday in observance of a public holiday. Normal operations will resume on Tuesday. Have a great long weekend. Regards, HR Department. Why will the office be closed next Monday? A. To observe a public holiday. B. For a staff meeting. C. For renovation. The correct answer is A. To observe a public holiday. Number 2. Hello, members. We are thrilled to announce that our gym will be hosting a fitness workshop next weekend. This workshop will cover various topics, including nutrition and workout routines. Limited spots are available, so register soon. See you there. Best, gym management. What is the main topic of the email? A. Membership fee increase. B. New gym equipment. C. Upcoming fitness workshop. The correct answer is C. 
Upcoming Fitness Workshop Number 3. We are excited to announce the launch of our latest product, the SmartX Watch. It offers advanced features such as health monitoring, GPS tracking, and seamless smartphone integration. The SmartX Watch will be available in stores and online starting next Monday. What is being launched? A. A health program. B. A new product, the SmartX Watch. C. An online store. The correct answer is B. A new product, the SmartX Watch. Number 4. Attention all employees. We will be conducting a fire drill tomorrow at 2 p.m. Please make sure to follow the emergency exit signs and gather at the designated assembly point in the parking lot. Your cooperation is appreciated. The safety team. What is being communicated in this notice? A. Details of a training session. B. Announcement of a fire drill. C. Information about a real fire. The correct answer is B. Announcement of a fire drill. Number 5. Attention. All staff. The annual Health and Wellness Fair will take place next Tuesday, September 17th, in the main lobby from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Various screenings and wellness activities will be available. Participation is encouraged for everyone's benefit. When will the Health and Wellness Fair occur? A. September 10th. B. August 17th. C. September 17th. The correct answer is C. September 17th. Number 6. Please be advised that the maintenance work for our building's HVAC system is scheduled for this weekend. The work will commence at 5 p.m. on Friday and is expected to be completed by 9 a.m. on Monday. We apologize for any inconvenience and thank you for your understanding. When will the maintenance work start? A. 5 p.m. on Saturday. B. 5 p.m. on Friday. C. 9 a.m. on Monday. The correct answer is B. 5 p.m. on Friday. Number 7. We are thrilled to announce that our company has won the Best Workplace of the Year Award for the second consecutive year. This achievement reflects our dedication to creating a positive work environment and supporting our employees' growth and well-being. What is the company's recent achievement? A. Winning Best Workplace of the Year. B. Opening a new office. C. Launching a new product. The correct answer is A. Winning Best Workplace of the Year. Number 8. Hello team. We have scheduled a training session on the new software update for next Wednesday at 2 on Ukayan, na? GTI PM in the main conference room. Attendance is mandatory for all staff members. This session will help us enhance our efficiency with the new system. Best, IT department. What is the purpose of the training session? A. To hold a team building exercise. B. To train on the new software update. C. To discuss company policies. The correct answer is B. To train on the new software update. Number 9. This is a reminder that the early bird registration for the annual conference ends on November 1st. Register now to take advantage of discounted rates and secure your spot at this premier event. We look forward to seeing you there. What is the purpose of this reminder? A. To introduce a new event. B. To encourage early registration. C. To announce event cancellation. The correct answer is B. To encourage early registration. Number 10. Hello, staff. As part of our sustainability initiatives, we are installing new recycling bins in all office areas. Please make sure to use these bins appropriately to help reduce waste. Together, we can make a difference. Cheers, office management team. What is being installed in all office areas? A. New printers. B. 
new coffee machines. C. New recycling bins. The correct answer is C. New recycling bins. Number 11. Dear colleagues, we are excited to announce that our company will be adopting a flexible working hours policy effective from next month. This initiative aims to improve work life balance and increase productivity. Detailed guidelines will be shared via email shortly. Best wishes, the management. What is the announcement about? A. Office relocation. B. Salary increase. C. Introduction of flexible working hours. The correct answer is C. Introduction of flexible working hours. Number 12. Our latest software update includes several new features and performance improvements. Be sure to download and install the update to take advantage of these enhancements and keep your system running smoothly. What is the purpose of this text? A. To sell a new software package. B. To inform about a software update. C. To address system issues. The correct answer is B. To inform about a software update. Number 13. Notice. The parking lot will be resurfaced on Monday and Tuesday between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. Please park your vehicles in the overflow lot during these hours. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause maintenance department. Where should vehicles be parked during the resurfacing work? A. In the overflow lot. B. On the street. C. In the main lot. The correct answer is A. In the overflow lot. Number 14. Notice, there will be a scheduled water supply shutdown on Saturday, March 5th, from 9 o'clock a.m. to 6 p.m. for maintenance work. Residents are advised to store sufficient water in advance. Thank you for your understanding, Maintenance Department. When will the water supply be shut down? A. Sunday, March 6th. B. Saturday, March 5th. C. Friday, March 4th. The correct answer is B. Saturday, March 5th. Number 15. Dear subscriber, we are pleased to introduce the new version of our mobile app, now available for download. This update includes several new features and performance improvements to enhance your experience. Update now to enjoy a smoother and more efficient app. What is the purpose of this message? A. To unsubscribe. B. To announce a new app version. C. To report downtime. The correct answer is B. To announce a new app version. Number 16. Dear residents, the water supply will be interrupted on Tuesday, April 20th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. due to essential maintenance work. Please store enough water in advance. We apologize for the inconvenience, Maintenance Department. When will the water supply be interrupted? A. Monday, April 19th. B. Wednesday, April 21st. C. Tuesday, April 20th, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. The correct answer is C. Tuesday, April 20th, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Number 17. We are pleased to inform you that the annual shareholders meeting will take place on November 25th at 10 a.m. in the main conference hall. Attendance is highly encouraged as we will be discussing the company's future plans and financial performance. Please RSVP by November 20th. What is the purpose of this announcement? A. To announce a company closure. B. To notify about a meeting. C. To introduce new shareholders. The correct answer is B. To notify about a meeting. Number 18. To all customers, we are excited to announce that our new eco friendly product line is now available in stores. These products are designed with sustainability in mind, using recycled materials and eco friendly processes. 
Visit our website or nearest store to learn more about the new range. Best regards, marketing team. What is the announcement about? A. Opening of a new store. B. Launch of an eco-friendly product line. C. Sale on existing products. The correct answer is B. Launch of an eco-friendly product line.